I designed the mirror ball in 2003. Mirror ball is a sort of failure in design terms. I thought that if I made the simplest shape I could get away with in a highly polished mirror, it would be invisible because it would reflect its surroundings. That was the theory, and in practice it did the polar opposite. What it did was to be very much a focal point of a room, almost a blingy object in a way, but it probably made a more successful object commercially as a result. So that's a lesson for all designers. <laughs> Sometimes your biggest failures could be your biggest successes. Mirrorball is an injection blow molded polycarbonate sphere and it's vacuum metallized with a very thin film of pure metal. So it's a technique that's used a lot in optics, particularly in things like sunglasses, astronauts' helmets and things like that. It was a product that we launched in year two of starting my own label. We were a very small company at the time and it's really been the foundation of the business and it was the one that really took off. For us, it gave us access not to lighting shops, but lots of furniture shops. You know, in a furniture shop, you've got lots of things at this level, and they've got all of this space above um, the tables, the chairs, which is effectively free space. So I think we accessed our distribution in the beginning by just inhabiting the lighting space in furniture shops, which is kind of an interesting way of going about it. It was pretty much an instant success. Without that as a hit object, I think we'd have been in a very different place now.